Okay, the broadcast is live. Welcome everybody to our macro moment trading and compound stock earnings uh, combined uh, podcast. We've had one heck of a day today. I'm not real sure. And talk to Mark to uh, Randy. I'm sure he had a fantastic day yet, but we were having our morning session on the uh, micro moment trading. We were up 33.81 percent over 15 trades. One small loss. Uh, so fantastic. We're up 53 percent for the week. We were up uh, 4,929 percent uh, as of last Friday, which was the end of the 47th week. Four percent on the average week. Uh, if you want to go to our website, uh, micromomenttrading.com, you'll find the combination of the micromoment trading website and the uh, previous compound stock earnings. Now, that's important because the previous compound stock earnings is everything we still do at compound stock earnings, primarily Randy's seminars and such, uh, what they're about, what his schedule is, what mine is, what, it, what these guys are. And uh, you can sign up for the free Cal report, which has been published down for over 20 years, comes out every Friday. They don't say it comes out every Friday and has all the emails from our clients and what answers we've given them and, and, and then they're reporting their returns and just doing all kinds of stuff to really find out about what we're all about. And that's compoundstockearnings.com. Go to the website, www.micromomenttrading.com and sign up for free account uh, Also, uh, you can type in today. If you look on the YouTube, you should have the ability to type in any comments or questions. Whatever you want to talk about, we'll talk about it. we got lots of time here. And just type them in. And if you just want to say hello, we'll just say hello. But uh, let's get let's get started with uh, Randy today. Randy, uh, haven't talked to you in a couple of days. How's the week going? Oh, week, week's going good. Crazy market. Up and down and up and down. But that's, that, that's what it does. So. We just keep generating income as the market goes up and down. So uh, different than what Tim and Micah do, and they'll talk about theirs. But uh, I teach the advanced charting and covered call platinum services. And a, a covered call, for those that, that don't know, um, is you buy a stock and sell a call against it. In a call, when you sell a call, you didn't have an obligation to sell your stock at that price. So somebody is paying you for the right to buy your stock. Therefore, you generate income. So you either get called out, and that means you keep that extra money that they paid you and sell your stock at the price that you agreed to, or you don't get called out and you sell a call again against that same stock and continue generating income week after week after week on it. And so, um, I, I teach that process as well as a advanced process using synthetic covered calls. And we have a webinar every Wednesday morning for, for two hours uh, online, live in the market, real time to teach all of the processes. And during that, as well as throughout the week, um, I'm constantly looking for positions that meet the rules and everything we teach is rule based. You have a set of rules that you follow along with the charts. And when I find uh, positions that I am entering and or uh, managing and managing is what we can do. And that means that if the stock doesn't go up sideways or slightly down, and we continue to generate income on that position while waiting for it to come back up. So with the covered call, because we sell in the money covered calls, which is totally different than anyone else in the market does, but it allows a stock to go up and you generate your income and get your capital back. It can go sideways, you generate income and get your capital back. It can even go down and you generate income and get your capital back. If it goes down more than the charts anticipate, then we continue managing it, generating income week after week until we get our capital back. And so th throughout the week last week, actually, um, here's my summary of the positions that were closed out last week. And we're typically doing weekly options. So closed Microsoft last week. And when I say closed, that means all the invested capital returned plus income. Microsoft, 
16.2% return. Wow. GILD, 17.6% return. Wow. Uh, Moderna, 14.9% return. And then I had two different positions on the VXX, which is the, the VIX ETF, 12.3% return and 35.1% return. And then Qualcomm. Now, Qualcomm was one of those positions that had to be managed. So those other five were just entered for the week and close out at the end of the week. Qualcomm, it went up and down and down and up and up and down. And so that's been in management for a few weeks, closed out for all of the capital return plus 25.9% return on that invested wow. capital. Crazy. Um, so those are the positions that were closed last week. I'm, uh, I've already entered one, two, three, four new positions for this week. Uh, being very conservative, but it's it's uh, one of the things right now with the market. It, it, if you're um, buying equities, you have to be very selective on the equity that you're entering, uh, because we're basically in more of a downward trending market right now than than up. And, but there are always things going up when the market's going down. Just like when the market's going up, there's always things going down. So being extremely selective on the company that you're going to invest in and the right place on the chart because we teach buying low entering at the lower 25 percent of the rising channel so um, that's critical to the success and if you select a good quality company eventually it's going to come up if it goes down and so um, that's where the management comes in that allows to continually generate income week after week while managing that position back to um, back to health, so to speak. So, um, so, so that's where we were on the covered calls last week. Okay. And, and, and when, when Mike and Tim are going to talk about theirs, I already did two micro moment trades this morning on SPX. So, and, and, and they were actually micro moment a minute or less. This market is so crazy right now. Yeah. I don't want to be in them for very long. Yeah. Yeah. Take yeah. a profit quick and get out of those. What's yeah. so important about what Randy does, his technique is, and, and, you know, for the last almost a month, you've seen the market because of all this stuff going on with the virus and all the oil stuff. You've seen the market go up and down, you know, it'll be down a thousand points one day and up a thousand points the next day. The reason they say that means people are really losing money. Those just aren't like play figures. That really represents people losing money and people making money when they're going up and down. It's just like a roller coaster. Where where what what Randy does is is once you once you buy that stock or that leap to get maximum leverage without the use of margin, uh, then you're going to rent that call. If you don't if you don't sell that call and use our technique, you have no risk on that call. No risk. You're going to sell that car. You couldn't generate income because you sold it. You now have the ability, if that stock goes up, to uh, make money because you sold that call. And if it goes down, to make money. If you don't sell the call, you're just a normal, plain day trader sitting there, you know, watching the stock go up and down, and you're trying to outguess it. He didn't have to outguess anything. He uses the rules of that of the, uh, the that particular trade, covered call trade the rules, to properly structure the position. The structure is incredibly good. A lot of people don't know what they're doing. Will buy stock and sell a call, and they're and they're guaranteed to lose money because they 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 sell a call with a strike, much less what they pay for the stock, and uh, they might be called out and lose money. You don't do that when you take his courses and learn how to do it properly. And there's a book out there, a book that we wrote some time ago, uh, Cover Calls and Leaps and Wealth Auction Option, and the the forward is by uh, Kawasaki and uh, Kiyosaki. I'm sure not Kawasaki, Kiyosaki. And uh, he's a renowned uh, real estate investor. And the reason he wrote the forward is because we treat stocks like real estate. We treat stocks like real estate, and we rent it by virtue virtue of that cost. So, so just like you know, you know, rent is making that money, and, and who else makes that money when they see the market going up and down like it is? Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose hugely. Now, his trade, like you said, this micro moment trade today, he does those also. Uh, his trades are typically longer. And uh, it can be where from a day to a week or so. It used to be a long time ago. The only date of expiration was once once a month was the third Friday. We were shooting five percent a month. And now, over these years, the uh, the uh, 
the, 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 the expiration date has changed from once a month now in many, many of the stocks once a week, which is on Friday. And a couple of them, two, a couple four times during the week. So it gives you the, t- you the ability to make that 5% on multiple times <coughs> during the course of a month instead of just doing it one time. The uh, micro moment, which these guys, I'll let them explain that, but it's real fast. You, you're never in a stock for more than a minute or two max. If you're in it for two, you're not following the rule. And uh, uh, they're going to explain what a good day they've had day and how you make money using that technique. Again, this is a technique. The micro moment trading is you don't care which way the market's going. And Randy doesn't either. Uh, but you don't care. You're just going to roll with whatever, whichever way it's going, and, and you're going to use the technique to make money. And you're making money in, in five or 10 or 15 or 20 seconds. And then you're out, and you're never in money overnight, you're never in stock overnight. Um, example today, when the market opened for our first session of Macro Moment, it starts at 8.30 Central Time. And the market was, pre-market was down. And then it opened, and it, it, it shot up. Uh, even though they reported 6 million uh, unemployment figure, it shot up. And then while it was heading up, all of a sudden, I mean, it was heading down, excuse me. It was up, and it was down. And then uh, President Trump announced the, uh, the agreement between the Saudis and the Russians about the oil thing. And it, it's been turning and shot back up. And now it's up uh, 272 points. Either one of these techniques, just like Randy sitting over there doing micro, one was taking advantage of those movements. And probably Tim, because he always sneaks these things in. Micah, you never know. He's over there probably too. He's always expressionless. But uh, they're just fantastic techniques. And uh, uh, Randy, I'm not Randy, but Marcus, keep a note there if you have to put anybody up there and just ask any questions or anything. Okay. Oh, there, there you go. Oh, and, and Brian, how about that? You got his name Brian this time. Brian is a member of micro moment uh, he's our uh, what do you call it what i call him all the time uh byron byron yeah he's always correcting me about things you know my mispronouncing everything and byron his question is uh, if and when you get a chance is how to set up my chart similar to the way your charts are set up to show two or three stocks at a time i have trouble doing that for some reason so if, all, if one of y'all want to address that then and kind of talk about today. Yeah. Sure. Um, <clears throat> it'd probably be easier to show you on the webinar, um, but it could be uh, probably something with your locking. So each time you click into the new chart tab and then ice one minute, like you did for, for the first one you pulled up, um, you're just going to hit the lock icon at the top of each chart. Uh, that you want to keep and then repeat that process to bring up a new chart. Uh, you can then drag and drop the edges to to fit them how you will. Um, but you need to make sure the other ones are locked uh, before you do that. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, we can show you on the on the webinar, Brian. Yeah. Why okay, don't y'all take Brian's? I've got too many names. First name starting to be here. Another Brian. Okay. Yeah. We do. Hi, guys. When all the indicators line up and the option price starts to move, do you buy the ask or try to get in between the spread? Um, We really like our spreads to be at about two cents, uh, maybe even three cents. So if we have something wider than that, particularly these last three weeks, we've been putting in our own ask. So I've done that. I get filled maybe half the time on it, uh, sometimes not at all. But it we just don't want to be, we just don't want to start a trade 10 cents in the hole. Okay. You know, if you notice the last couple of weeks, we've been watching to see if the spread covers uh, in this new market and the way that it's moving. Um, And a lot of times it hasn't been covering. So, you know, I would rather not get filled with a modified ask than to have to try to get out of or uh, crawl out of a, you know, eight to 10 cent hole. So, there you go. That's right. Micah, why don't you take that with the point? Uh, Micah, did you ever figure out a way to show the part of the option chain you watch onto the micro moment charts? Yeah. Um, yeah, I can do that. Uh, it's going to take away from some of the real estate that people have to look at the charts. But yeah, I have it on my PC, just two screens, so I could <clears throat> drag it over. And I've dragged it over a few times to show. Um, 
to show examples and explain concepts. So yeah, I do have, I do have that ability now. Um, we just don't want to take away from, from too much of the, of the, uh, chart real estate. Yeah. Uh, Mike, let me ask you this, you know, some time ago during, during one of the sessions, I mentioned this, this ad I'd read Dale that, that had developed this, uh, this uh, screen for trade with you guys and your clients. And uh, so it's a good size, but, but uh, if you have a screen that big, can you put more stuff just because the screen's bigger? I mean, are you lim do you have other limiting factors as to what you get on that screen other than the size of the screen? No, no, we could fit it all. The, the problem is the output on the other end, because not everybody has that. So they're going to be looking at, you know, it on a laptop, except everything's going to be super tiny. So they're going to have to be, you yeah. know, trying to look at it from, from their end. So it's not so much what I can put out. I got a ton of real estate. It's yeah. more <clears throat> so that everybody can, can see it on the other end. I guess. I guess. Yeah. So I, anytime that anyone wants the option chain up though, I can drag it over there for sure. And when, um, when these yeah. guys are doing their sessions, they're five days a week. Uh, Central time starts at 8, 830 to about 930, 945. And a lot of times they'll come back in a noon session and uh, you'll get a text telling you they're on their way back. You got plenty of time and you're already signed in because they don't cut the screen off and you're ready to go. Uh, uh, Randy has sessions, different kind of sessions where, where he teaches what he's doing and they also do a trades. But he sends out an email. You can email every time he is anticipating a trade, what he's anticipating buying, and then when he does it and what he bought it for. And when he sells the call and when he ultimately gets rid of the transaction, you get all that stuff. And in the Cal report, every one of those transactions is in the Cal report, but you get them as they're done. So, uh, and he, he, he trades every day also. And then he has interspersed with these various uh, seminars that he does. And really, he's been, he's been doing this now what, 14 years, Randy? Uh, yeah, 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 14 years, yeah. With does, yeah. He's not as quick as the two young guys because he's a lot older. <laughs> But uh, other than that, he's, he's doing good. So, uh, okay. So what else we had going on today? Well, yeah. One, yeah, one, one, one more thing about, about cover calls, Joe, and you usually mention it every week, but it's also great because right now with, especially with the market being down and some people have stocks they've had forever and they don't really want to sell them and they're, they're down from wherever that they were a month ago, right? Because we had all time highs a month ago. So you can still generate income without selling the stock by selling the out of the money call. We call it a weekly fast cash. We teach how to do that process and what to do in management in case it gets close to being called out when you don't want to be called out. And we have process technique to keep that from happening. And so you can generate income on a weekly basis even while the market is going down on those stocks that you don't want to sell yet because eventually they're going to come back up right say you might have a home depot and it was 250 dollars a month ago and now it's down in 170 or 180. you don't want to sell it but you can generate income on a weekly basis sell weekly options against it we teach you how to do that and then write it up where next year it's back up over 300 who knows but yeah. you can still generate income week after week after week. And for, for people that like stocks, like a lot of people just like stocks because of dividends. They, they, they like the stocks they have. They get the dividends. They don't care if the stocks go up or down. The dividends get coming pretty much stays the same. It's not a huge amount per year, maybe two or 3%, you know, a year. And, uh, but they like that. Well, Randy has a technique that's the most incredible thing on the face of the earth. If that's what you like then uh, use his, his, uh, his, his dividend technique where you are on the stock, and let's say you paid 50 bucks for it, and it's paying you 3% a year. On a monthly basis, you learn how to sell an out of the money call for the month, in other words, it's gonna expire within a month. So if you get called out, if it's out of the money, then you paid 50 for the stock, maybe you sold at 52, 50 strength. Well, you're gonna, they gotta call you up for 52, 50, so you make a profit of 52, 50 on your stock that you originally paid 50 dollars for. And you keep the dividend and you keep the premium. Then you just turn around because you kept the premium you received and you kept the dividend. You just go back and buy the stock for less when it goes down. And you go on and increase instead of three or four or five percent a year on dividends, you know, using that technique, you know, you can do 15, 20 percent, 25 percent a year. Easy, easy. And never, 
never run the risk of losing your stock ever, never. Cause you have to, you're selling out of the money call. Most times you're not going to be called out. You're just going to, you know, things will expire. You're going to keep a premium. You can turn around and, and, and do it again. And it's really fantastic for those conservative people that love their stocks. Don't ever want to sell them. But want to substantially increase their, uh, increase their dividends. Mm -hmm. So Joe, uh, while you were talking, I just did another micro moment trade. There you go. There you go. Made 70 cents a share on, on my, on my SPX. And I was in it for uh, nine seconds. It yep. was it, it, as soon as I put the order in to get in, it filled, and yep. and as fast as I could get the other order in to sell it, it sold as soon as I got the order in. Okay, now how many how many cents did you make on that? What did you sell that, for? That that was uh, seventy cents a share of income. That's it, what you paid for. It. You, it, yeah, on on SPX. So yeah, that yeah. it the what? index is a lot more expensive than like the Apple and and the QQQ that uh, Micah and Tim do. Okay, well, what I'm saying is, how much did you pay for it per share? Oh, it was actually uh, $40.90 to buy and forty one sixty to sell. Okay, huge, huge return. And for then seven. you use that. The thing is, you just keep using the same money over and over and over again. It's not like yeah, you have yeah. to have hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. You use that, yeah. that same money now that cash is back. I can use it again yeah. to, to do another yeah, one. I've, I've, I've already done three yeah. today, so. I have this thing I talk about all the time, 2000 bucks. And I use this trying to encourage people to send their, send their kids graduate high school, send them pay, you know, something, you know, buy this technique, let them, let them attend. They can do it virtually, which means they don't risk any real money. But then when they're beginning to make money virtually, give them, open up an account with 2000 bucks in. 2000 bucks, they just get 6% a week, which is, which these guys, you know, made 33% today. And uh, so, and they're for the week they're up fifty three percent, much more than six percent for the week. But if they just make six percent per week over a two year period, that two thousand is going to go into seven hundred and something thousand bucks. At that point, they can still just keep on their six percent per week schedule, and six percent of seven hundred thousand is about forty two thousand a week. So that's I say, you know, just take out forty, you know, forty seven thousand a month or monthly income, and let the other three weeks continue to grow. And what Randy said is true. They're never investing more than that 2000 bucks. They just keep redoing that 2000 bucks over and over and over. They're not like keep adding to it. It's just compounding. And uh, so, you know, and that means you never have more. They'll never have more than 2000 bucks at risk. Now, as a compound, the trades will get bigger. But the whole point is they never have more than a modest amount of risk. Mm -hmm. So, um, Yeah, that's why, that, that's why you keep, you keep seeing us turn our head because we're looking at the charts as we go. And so all I, all I do is follow the chart. The chart was at the top, making yeah. the inverted V, yeah. red cross and down below blue. It says perfect. Get in. Well, the neat, the neat thing too, and then we'll get to get to, to Joseph here. Um, is it, is it you, when you, Micah and Tim's thing, they're doing this. You're, you're attending the seminar, right? And, and it only lasts an hour or so. And they get the charts up there and you learn, they teach you how to read that chart, which is a proprietary chart it costs a hell of a lot of money. It tells you when to get in and when to get out. That's what you learn to do. And then, you know, exactly just like when, when Randy does his trades, you know, exactly. They tell you what they're getting ready to enter, what they enter at and when they get out. And, uh, people on that, like today, I don't know, you know, you, when you attend that seminar, you can ask questions to make comments and, so many people turn in what they're making, what they made. They're making huge, huge returns yesterday, today, every day. It's the same way. Some days might be slower than other days, but the last couple of days, which traditionally should have been bad, they're making huge amounts of money. And when you tell you, you see that too. And then on Friday, we have uh, uh, baby from Friday, whatever uh, Michael calls it, and, and you can actually call it and, and talk to these guys, and they'll spend as much time is you want to talk and solve any problem you've got or, or you're trying to get your understanding of something. A lot of people don't call it. They ought to call it because they learn so much. But you're seeing everything. Same way with Randy. Same way with Randy. And, uh, you know, um, that cow that cow report, by the way, is free. So when you go to those websites, sign up for it. Okay. Micah, what's Joseph got? I noticed at 716 Pacific, you entered a trade before the tick moved outside the upper Bollinger. Have you started a different entry criteria? That was the that was the put, right? I don't quite remember. I'm looking at the ice charts. It 
at 716. And I'm thinking that was the put at Microsoft. Yeah, it was it was a put. I remember I remember you entering that. Uh, I think you just crossed through uh, M3. Yeah, so it was the um, it was the um, I think that was earlier actually. I think it was in the minute of 715 because uh, so he's wondering if the trade criteria is different. There is another trade we found in the micro moment charts um, and it's kind of based on the reversal. Now we have not um, really explained it. We haven't, you know, gone full on it because we discovered it just before everything went crazy. Right. So, I mean, in our position, you really have to lock something down super solid before you present it to your clients because that's a big responsibility, right? So um, we have an idea for a trade. I tried it there. It worked, but um, but we really cannot explain uh, much about it yet because we can't test it in this market. This is an outlier market, right? We want to build techniques that are um, that are directly for you know, the most common thing so that we can win in the long term. Um, so, yeah, it's a little bit of a different take. Um, we're still figuring out all the rules for it, everything like that. Um, it's it's pretty much the same trade, just in a little bit different spot, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Well, I, hope, yeah. I hope everybody notices that we, uh, what, what, what's the thing we're supposed to be separated? You're not all supposed to be in the same room. Social distancing. Yeah. It's a perfect separation. I'm in Puerto Rico. Randy's in Atlanta. Uh, uh, Tim is somewhere close to Atlanta, and uh, uh, Mike, have been the youngest one of the group, is he's been cast out to as far as you could possibly go in SCF. Yeah. As, as he gets more experience, he can come in closer. Yeah. Now the poor, poor guy has poor guy has to get up in the middle of the night to trade. <laughs> right. If you look behind Tim, he's got all his guitars. When he's not trading, this is say we spend about an hour in the morning trading, and during the summertime, he's on the corners corners of all the streets in Atlanta playing guitar. That's why he's got all those guitars. There you go. Yeah, or 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 on the beach. Who <laughs> might take Gary? Who wants to take Gary? So we uh, got the we got the East Coast, the West Coast, and the islands covered. There yeah, you go. Exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah. Probably best for Randy is the chart you used for trading the micro moment strategy. The same one you use in teaching the advanced charting course. Uh, no, micro moment trading is the one that Micah and Tim teach. It's the intraday streaming chart for the advanced charting, which is a longer term uh, trade. We use the daily advanced chart. And so it doesn't move as quickly as the micro moment chart, which is moving like constantly, almost tick after tick. And so, no, for micro moment trading, you follow the charts that Tim and Micah show and teach. And for advanced charting with momentum trading, you follow the daily advanced chart. And uh, so Kathy is asking uh, with advanced charting, am I doing momentum puts? Uh, no. For for a daily or two or three days, uh, we don't do puts yet because we're, we're still in uh, a flat overall trend. We're just in a declining cycle right now for, for four weeks. And, and one thing about trying to do puts for the long term, because see for covered calls, over the course of time, from basically time immortal, the market's gone up. We just hit a, a month ago, we just hit all time highs. So if you're wrong on a call, if you can manage it long enough, it's going to it's going to be a profit on a put. On the other hand, the market doesn't go down forever. And so if you buy a put and you're expecting to hold it for a week or two or three weeks, the market could turn around and never come back. And that put is going to go to zero. So uh, not yet. If the market goes into a, you know, a one year long slide, then that would be a different issue where you can be in and out of it for a, a week or two. But uh, nope, haven't gone to, to puts on the on the longer term momentum trade, but certainly use puts on the micro moment. Um, in fact, it's easier to make money on the put than, than the call. It usually goes down faster than it goes up. Hmm. And, you know, again, let me, let me harp on this one more time about this labor stuff. It's so important with, with Micah and, and Tim and, and Randy. When Randy, a lot of times instead of buying the stock and paying 50 bucks for it, he will buy the way 
three or four or five years out call called Leap. And uh, instead of paying 50 bucks for the stock, maybe he's going to pay two or three, four bucks for the Leap. So you have almost infinite leverage. Again, then you sell a call against that Leap. That Leap acts as the stock. You treat it just like the stock. It doesn't change the techniques or anything. And uh, so you get infinite leverage without the use of margin. A margin, when you're doing anything, will kill you. Like, I don't know how people have been wiped out every day, probably with this market going up and down, they've been using margin. So that's important in both of these techniques. So they, uh, uh, Tim and, and Micah always use uh, options. So they're, they're always uh, leveraged, not leveraged. Yeah, leveraged to the hill without, the, without borrowing money. So. Yeah, and, and that's a it, that's an extremely important point, Joe. And, and we usually stress it in, the, in all of our uh, seminars. We don't trade on margin. Margin is going to kill you. There's already been uh, multiple companies in the last month, big trading firms that have gone out of business because they're on margin and they get a margin call and they don't have the assets to cover it and they're wiped out. There was one on the CME two weeks ago on, on a Friday. They, they got the old trading places. Um, the, the, the Duke brothers, we are here to get your assets. And uh, they couldn't turn the machines back on. And, and that company went out of business. They're, all their assets got distributed uh, to try to pay off their debts. Don't trade on margin. It, it just don't trade on margin. That's that's a life killer right there. This one, uh, from Jim Evans, I think probably that's Marion, Marion Evans. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, it says, Tim, I think we, we need you to play for us with a bunch of smiley faces. Everybody's well, smiley faces. I'll and tell you what, if you, if you come to the next uh, live webinar, uh, I'll play. Yeah? yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> and and, and Marion will sing. I think she's a singer also. She's a sneezer. You know, she's the, she's the, uh, the uh, compound stock earning uh, sneezer. I think Randy's yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the sneezer. Well, <laughs> I, I know Tim's going to sneeze. Remember when that, we did that first seminar in Fort Worth, uh, Micah? And, and she was back there with me at the very back room, and she sneezed and, and blew herself yeah. out the door. It was incredible. <laughs> Just about. Yeah, it was incredible. I have to get, I mean, have to get, Mark, I have have to get Marcus on there with Tim, too, and, and they'll, they could be playing a, 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 a duel. There you go. There you people go. Started sending, people started sending emails. <laughs> they remembered her because when, when we used to do those big seminars over in Dallas, and she'd sneeze, there'd be like 200, 300 people in there, and the whole room would shake. Is, is there video of that? Uh, of that incident? <laughs> huh? Is there video of that incident? No, there's not. Yeah, to that. <laughs> there's not. Yeah, no, but there's lots of people that remember it, that's for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, because that more than one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but we, we love Marion. She, yeah. she's, she's great. Yeah. Sneezes that blow you out the door. <laughs> and she, and she trades in an elevator. She, uh, when Cezanne and, uh, and, uh, her friend used to go there and go do the seminars in Fort Worth, which was which was the macro moment version. It wasn't as fast, and uh, but they made incredible returns. And they had several seminars. And one day I walked in. She was in the elevator train, had her her laptop out, and she was actually doing some trades so, <laughs> in, in an elevator. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So, okay, Joe, Joe. I just want. I want everyone to know I did wash my hands before the webinar, so it's okay that I've been touching my face. So that's right. Not, you know, remember, don't touch your face, don't get close to anybody, stay locked down in your house so you don't get sick. Yeah, and you know, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you can go all day without touching your face. See, look at look at my touching yeah, face. Well, you're talking about it, yeah. it all seems itchy, man. Yeah. Well, that's that's why they're now starting to say it's okay, it's okay if you wear a mask or a scarf or just anything on your face so you can't touch it. Yeah, it's yeah. not because it's going to keep the virus from you breathing it. I, I think it's, it's going to keep you from putting it in your in your uh, face and getting it in your in your system. Halloween mask, like something really ugly. That'd there you go. Yeah. And you yeah. Know, was it Jason? Is it is it Jason that has the the uh, chainsaws? You, you could wear yes. the Jason mask. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he always wore a mask. You, you, you could wear that all, all, all day. Mary says, you play, I'll sneeze. Okay. Only sing. There you go. Yeah. Only, only sing when drinking. <laughs> he really wants to say hi. He's been bothering me. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh. Is he a lab? He's an English, English cream retriever. Yeah, white golden, basically. 
Yeah. Oh, what a pretty boy. Did you, nice. Did you kill the cat? He's been bothering me all day. I just realized that I was like behind here, like just like yeah. doing my arm around. I figured that would be confusing. So it's just my thought. <laughs> but that's a, we call that the trading dog. Cezanne had a trading, trading dog that sat behind her chair. Her yeah. Yeah. And, and he'd bark when she made a trade. Yeah, he does. He, he sits right under my left, under my left side in the morning. So most of the time on the water marks, he's, he's right underneath my computer. Yeah. Okay, Tim, how many deals have you done since you've been doing the similar thing? The podcast. Uh, actually, I just did one. Um, uh, did a Q call for uh, two, two to two hundred four. Fantastic. And early on, yeah, we uh, we had a nice little push up about a dollar outside the upper hundred band uh, early on, and caught a piece of that. And uh, okay, now. Let me that would see that you made two cents. That was two percent. Two percent. Two or four. That's that in how many seconds? A few seconds. Because you, you know, you said people say, Well, two cents is not much. Well, yeah, you multiply that times the number of contracts you have, even if you just have 100 contracts, one, one contract, 100 shares in there. You mm -hmm. A couple times a day, I mean, you're compounding at a huge rate. So that's why it doesn't take a lot of money to do either Randy's or Micah and Tim's because of this. You do you do things two or three times, four times. You do things of the day. And the comp got attached. That's right. And that and you bring up a good point there, Joe. In in that and and we we talk about that a lot on ours. Where this is a marathon. This isn't a sprint. We're in for the long game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're we're in for life. I I'm doing this full time now, and uh, this is you know this is my sole income. And um, we we play the long game, right? We do short trades, but we play the long game on here. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't. T how many hundred, two hundred dollar trades do you, do you need to make to make your nut, right? Exactly. Uh, so, well, I think what's important too, people come to those to those sessions every morning, but and and this this happened to uh, to a Tim, and, and I'm sure of Micah too. A lot of people will say you know, they'll tell us, you know, I've been in this now six months. And when I started, I didn't think I was ever going to get it down, and, and I lost money, blah, 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 blah. But I just stuck with it, and I finally, every time I don't follow the rules, it doesn't work. And when I follow the rules, and they say the biggest thing is just getting around to where you, you, you just follow the rules. You have to have confidence. You can't second guess. You just follow the rules. And in every case, Tim became extremely successful with his trade. Mike and uh, uh, Randy's not quite that critical because they're a little longer trades. But you just follow the rules. And it's a rule based, uh, you know, rule based uh, technique, no speculation. Yeah. And, uh, so that's how it works. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's, it really is a simple, simple technique that, that we do on Micro Moment. Um, we just have a few rules. And, you know, if you follow them, number one being get out. <laughs> that's right. Uh, when when yeah. you're supposed to, because uh, I really think that you know, sixty to seventy percent of this game is getting out, is cutting your losses. Yeah. Um, the profits will take care of themselves. We we manage the losses. We have we, we have this client named Deshaun. I've known Deshaun for years, and uh, he he got into this technique. And, and I used to see him all the time, and he would tell me, he said, "I just can't do it." He said, it "Just doesn't make any sense for me." He go, it goes on and on and on. And then he started having great some success. He told his all his relatives, all his friends, look what, what a fantastic job I'm doing. You know, it's just incredible what I'm making with this. Then he got smart. Then he started thinking. And then he started losing money. So it took him a little while to get back to just following the rules. And now we know what he makes every 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 time during this session because he shoots it to us. And uh, you know, it's just incredible. He but now he's consistently, you don't need you never see him with a big no. Yeah, Deshaun posts profits every day. Yeah. His baby's not doing well. He's a brand new baby, and we've discovered <laughs> baby has to go out on the porch. That's wintertime now. But at least he puts a bottle out there with the baby. The baby's only a few months old. So. And what can you say? You know. <laughs> okay. okay, guys, well, we've been on here a long time. Anybody have any, any last questions from anybody out there? You want to type something in and we'll try to answer it. Okay. Well, if not, 
thank you, gentlemen, for being here. And uh, we will uh, see uh, Mike and Tim in the morning and we'll probably talk to Randy or see his trades uh, later on. Okay. Thank you very much. See you, everybody. Thanks, Bye, guys. guys. Bye. Goodbye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Take care.